I received this comment last time telling me to play Lucky Blocks next. And since I'm terrible at the game and I'm sick, you already know I'm going to be losing quite a lot. So stick around if you like watching someone who is terrible at the game play terribly. Who knows, maybe I won a game. Lucky Blocks is a game where you get mysterious blocks and you hope to get lucky. I'm not a very lucky person. Regardless of that fact, I still got myself a lightning wand, which sounds a lot cooler than it is. You'd think you can actually throw lightning at people. No, you can't. You just summon lightning, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And you really don't know why it does or doesn't work, but you have to go with it anyway. And oh yeah, did I mention there are shulkers in this game sometimes? Nobody knows why, but guess what? I don't like shulkers, and shulkers apparently don't like me. They like to float me up in the air and then make me fall back down, which is great when you have a water bucket. When you have a lava bucket or an empty bucket, well, it doesn't go quite as well. Actually, when you fall, it hurts quite a bit. Game 2 was hardly even worth mentioning. It literally could not have gone worse. I actually got a totem and a water bucket, and I was like, there's no way I lose this. But then, well, I'll just show you my actual reaction. It was pretty priceless. Slime block, bouncy. No! Game 3 was a game full of interesting items, so it was also pretty long and hard fought. I got this really cool hot potato that I immediately wasted, and I also got a cool fire sword which I used to obliterate opponents. When I say I was an absolute terror, I'm not talking about the nightmares you have. I'm talking about the demons in your closet. Oh, you didn't know about those? You should probably get that checked out. Despite the fact that I was running around like a madman, wielding my fire sword without knowing you could actually summon flames, I ended up dying and I lost. Maybe I'm just bad at this game. Game 4 seemed to be nether themed, and that meant I was about to go to hell. Or send others there, probably both. My first victim was this guy who was too focused on his wood to even notice me. Relatable, I think we've all been there. But after that, I didn't really have much of a good game. I just kind of bridged around looking for good loot, but then I realized there is no good loot. There are just lucky blocks. They're not good or bad. This person knocked me into the void with their hand. With their hand! It's humiliating! In game 5, I just started by breaking all my lucky blocks. Does anybody do anything different to start a game? Now I did happen to get a diamond sword and I was quite happy about that one. I would say the game was pretty uneventful, aside from that one part with the armor stand. HOW DOES THIS THING WORK?! I saw a player and their dog and you already know that dog went straight into the void. Even before the player did. It was so much fun. Ooh, Pride Month Lucky Block! Fishing Rod! Ow. And then, I died. You know those times when you feel really overconfident for absolutely no reason whatsoever and then you just act very stupid and you do a bunch of things that don't make any sense and you really have no reason to do them and there's absolutely nothing you could possibly have done worse but you do them anyway because for some reason you think it's the best thing. Yeah well that happened in game 6 and guess what? Surprise surprise! I got absolutely destroyed by someone who was not feeling overly confident. Blocks. Dirt. Bow. Bridge. Wand. Craft. Duel. Death. This was the best game yet. Not because I won. I, I didn't. But because it was actually very interesting. We got some shulker moments. We got some epic fights. We got some epic clutches. If you could call that epic. But overall, it was just a good game, and finally, I think we were due for one after Game 7. Game 8 is one of those games where I would love to have it back, because I think I very much could have won the game, but sadly, no, it was not to be. I lost. Game 9, I had all but given up on getting a win. I was dejected. I couldn't believe I hadn't won Game 8. But guess what? I do not give up, and that is precisely how I came to win Game 9. I know, it's shocking, I actually won a game, but I fought hard, and I was smart, and I did everything right. Well, not everything. I did everything as close to right- not everything. I finally played decent for once, and this- 
This is what got me to the promised land of victory. A win. The only thing I have ever wanted in my entire life. A win. And money. And, and fame. It wasn't that hard to kill the last guy. He was a sitting duck. In game 10, I got an Infinitato, which is exactly what it sounds like. It means I can eat the potato for infinity. The coolest item I have ever gotten. But this game also made me ask, God, do you still love me? Of course I do, my son. Aw, really? Hehehe. <laughs>